When operational uh, activities occur on the dark side of the earth, and in particular the uh, activities with the S-5 trust that are ongoing, it's typically a better view uh, and provides more fidelity to the crew looking at closed circuit television cameras, uh, uh, camera displays up on the flight deck for uh, use of the black and white camera. This camera tucked in the back end of uh, Endeavour's payload bay looking up at the S-5 as it's uh, positioned in a uh, low hover position above the payload bay in preparation for uh, relocation to uh, within reach of the station's robotic arm and uh, the handoff procedure. Station Endeavour on the big loop we are at the S-5 low hover position or go for maneuver to pre-grapple. Turn to pick up uh, Eastern copies and we're ready for you to start to on with step 23. And on board the uh, activation of the station to shuttle power transfer system is underway. This uh, in parallel with the robotic operations that are continuing with uh, the shuttle's robotic arm under control of Tracy Caldwell. Endeavour Houston, air to ground two for Spitz. Go ahead. Yeah, Endeavour, in order uh, for us to maximize our transfer capability from PTU-1, we'd like an Alpha to Charlie bus tie. Okay, an Alpha to Charlie bus tie. Good read back. And at uh, 4.17 p.m., uh, the activation of the station to shuttle power transfer system is complete. The electrical uh, officer here in uh, the shuttle flight control room uh, looking at the data showing uh, good uh, electrical currents uh, running through the uh, power transfer unit. The uh, activation procedure included uh, flipping two switches to activate the orbiter power converter units. It required uh, 17 toggles of uh, those switches, which increased the voltage uh, about a tenth of a volt for each one of those uh, 17 toggles. That gets the voltage up to where uh, the team wants it to uh, watch it for a while. But at this point, uh, everybody looks is uh, pretty happy with uh, the activation procedure. Endeavor on air to ground two, we see a good bus tie. Um, we're getting good power transfer, 6.45 kilowatts from station to shuttle. Outstanding. Thank you. Endeavor, uh, now the first uh, space shuttle to be serving in a hybrid capacity with uh, electricity flowing from the International Space Station's power system over to the shuttle. Both the station electrical team and the shuttle electrical team all watching their data and uh, reporting that they are very excited by the uh, activation and the operation of the SPITS so far. Again, uh, the f activation uh, officially uh, completed at 4.17 this afternoon Central Time. And the plan is to uh, watch the, the uh, operation of SPITS over the course of the next day or so and uh, before giving the official go to extend Endeavour's mission based on uh, a successful operation of the station to shuttle power transfer system. Station shuttle on the big loop. SRMS is in S5 handoff position, brakes on. Your go to grapple. Okay, we copy Rick, thanks. Looks good, and uh, you can give me camera D on uh, Mon 2, thanks. And Houston ISS on the big loop, uh, the SSRMS is in motion for grapple. Thanks for watching, and just as a reminder, no exercise uh, during the handoff. Copy, no fiscultura. And the shuttle's robotic arm is locked in place as uh, Rick Mastracchio controlling the station's arm in for the uh, grapple of the S-5 truss, the uh, handoff as it's known. This view from an elbow camera on midway point of the shuttle's robotic arm. In, uh, for Endeavour and Houston, we have 
grapple the S5, and uh, Tracy and Rick, you have a go to uh, ungrapple. Thanks, Coach. We're putting that work. Charlie Hobaugh actually uh, was in control of the station's robotic arm. You saw him there at the robotic workstation. And you hear the call that the station's arm has grappled the fixture on the S5 truss element. The shuttle crew has given the go to release the shuttle's robotic arm. It will be repositioned to a viewing to serve as a viewing uh, platform for the actual installation on the outboard uh, starboard end of the truss element of the station that to be uh, conducted on Saturday. Shuttle Commander uh, Scott Kelly in the center, lower center of the picture, along with uh, Station Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, and coming into view uh, from the uh, Unity node uh, back into the Destiny Laboratory Mission Specialist Al Drew. Station now home to uh, 10 crew members, two cosmonauts, and uh, eight astronauts now make up the joint crews of Expedition 15 and the STS-118 uh, crew of Endeavor.